Good morning everyone. I'm going to show you how to create a simple cord with the Kinetic Tech Exchanger Hood system. First of all we need the outfit we're going to create the hood for. As you can see I have one red ready and we also need a blank trim. So once you have these done, you need to open up your Kinetic, kinetic Tech Exchanger Hood window. I've got one ready here. First of all, we need to add the product license to the trim. Then the Exchanger Hood script. Once you have these, you should get a message in your box which says it's ready to use. So once we have that done, we need to create our base trim for the outfit. This will show us that the outfit is ours. So where's the new trim? Click on the outfit itself, copy position, click on your hood, on your new prim rather, and paste. This will send it to the centre of the prim. Next, we click on the prim, hold down shift, and click on the prim. Outfit, then prim. I'm sorry. I'm new at this tutorial game so please bear with me. Once we have that done press link. The base trim is now yellow and the child trim is now blue. Once you have that you click on your base trim, you go to size and put 0.01. This will send it down and you do that for all three values. As you can see the, out, the main is prim is shrinked. So go to texture, transparent and 100% transparency. This is what I do and as you can see the base trim is nowhere to be seen. This stops awkward little squares when you're moving and it's a good little idea. Next we need to prepare our outfit. So you go into content tab, again you add your product license and this time it's target. So we have the hood in that one the target in that one. Once you have that one ready it will also say ready to use and you can delete the product license from your outfit. Give it a name Mermaid Gown and the mesh body it's for. Okay, now the hood. We have our hood ready, so at the moment we no longer need that. I'm using an Absen dress, so I need the folder it is in. So once you have your blank trim, find your hood texture, which I'm hoping you've already got created, and stick it onto the trim. At the moment, can't see anything, but if you turn it around, this is a mesh cube I created earlier, but you could use any cube, just a trim or a mesh one. Right way around. Right, so 
Hang on, we got that ready. We got to dress the hood. First of all, we need to create some windows for the hood. I'll just blank trim. Stretch. I'm going to colour this so it's you can see it better. There we go. Shrink it down. Each one of these have to cover one of your little squares. Of course you can do you don't have to use squares, you can use any colour you want. So we'll zoom in there. Oops, too far. Close that. Stretch that down. So a different angle so we can see and it's not vanishing on me. And make sure we cover the window. As you can see, I'm not perfect, but uh, who is? And then like that. All right. Move that into place. Okay, so that should do it. As you can see, it's covered there. It's covered the main part of the thing. All the text is there. So once you have that, go into general. In the top line, you want look description. Look desk all one word this will tell us that to look in the description line so back to our outfit as you can see we have it called mermaid gown but that's not the one it's going to be looking at if you go into edit mode and then click on the dress at the moment it's telling us what it is but we don't want all that otherwise it's a lot to type into our colour print colour squares so let's call it something different we will call this heather because that's, that's what i will call the dress so we'll call it heather go back into there and put heather exactly how you put it on the pin so Heather, Heather, right, next we want the face number, so we go select face, as you can see this is all sides, which means there's only one face, sometimes you may get two faces or three faces, each face will have its own number and that is there. At the moment this one's all sides so we can either leave it blank like that or we can put a zero value which means it's also one color i prefer to leave it like this it's a lot easier oops wrong line no that's right no right that one Heather and at that is it for now don't want that one in there okay so once we have that zoom into our hood hold down shift and then drag with your mouse to create one single square for each colour and then drag it down and drag it down again so at the moment I've got 12 colours on plane and 6 colours on the pattern select all the cubes so left click drag it selects them all and then hold down shift 
and click, click your base prim and link. The base prim wants to be yellow, which is your hood, and your squares want to be blue on the outline. We then go back into Edit Link, Shift, and click on your base prim, which unselects it, only showing the colour cube. Go into Texture, Transparency to 100. Texture, Transparent. I always do this. <laughs> it's um, just my way of doing it, just to make, to make doubly sure that the prim is not seen. Okay, so now we need to put our textures in. So, edit linked and select our first prim. As you can see, there's a faint blue line around it and we know there because that's in the middle of it. So this one is the purple. Go to our colours. Open that just to make sure we have the right colour. So yes, we have the right colour. Copy the UUID number. Okay. And then we put the UUID there. At the moment that's all you need to do. Next is the white. Copy, paste, and you do this for all the colours. That one's pink, copy, paste. If you're not sure, you can always open your texture again just to doubly check. Copy. I will pause this, do the rest of the numbers, and then come back. Okay, so I've now put all the UUIDs into the description line. As you can see, they're all in there. Okay, so we can now test this. And as you can see, as we click each one, our dress changes to the texture I've put in. Click on each one just to make sure they're coming up the right colour. You might have to wait a second just for it to res. And as you can see all the textures are in there and all the correct colour. Okay. So once we have that we can bring up our exchanger hood again. At the moment I will forget about those because I just want to show you how to do this part. I will do them in another video. Once you have this ready, you click on the hood and edit. Bring open your window. I'm using the version 4. You can you also use the version 3 they both work the same. Version 4 is just a slightly newer, newer version. Right, so once we have that, check security and encryption. And we stick this into our queue. We will get a message up again. I will show you that. That is the message you will get. Just make sure that it's enabled and it's ready to use. Close your edit window and you can now get rid of that box. Once you put your script in you will get a pop-up box like this. At the moment our HUD you can see the description and the UUID code. We don't want this for selling because people will get your code and they could use it for themselves. 
so we need to hide those. Click the check. This tells us that there's no errors, so everything looks okay. Bring up the pop-up box again, and then encode. Again, it will tell us that everything's checked and encoded. You can now bring up your edit window again, and select space. No, sorry, edit linked. Click on one of the boxes, it now tells you it's encoded. And it does this for all of them. So we need to name the hood. Heather Hood. Go to the content tab, remove the product license. and you're done. Simple as that. So just take your hood back, put it into the into your inventory and then add it to a hood point and you can wear, now wear your dress. When you wear your dress I always assign it a part of your body. 90% of the creators put them on right hand. This is fine but I prefer to put it on the pelvis or the stomach. This is so if you accidentally add anything else you won't remove your dress especially if you're out in public. So thank you very much I hope this helps and I will explain the top part of the hood in the next one. Thank you very much.